Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick, short video today on your limousine company. Basically, what I want to do is compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Atlanta. Um, I'm only going to cover two factors with you today, but there's a couple of things I want to run by you because I want to keep this video short. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It actually goes out. It does a monthly count of search terms. And what I did is I went back four months from February to see how many people are searching online for limo service. So let's go look. Um, this is November, 1300. 1000 in December, it rounds it up to like the nearest 100. January dropped down to right below 500. And then February is 1000. So that's a lot of people searching for limo service. Okay. So what I thought would be a good exercise is I went over here to Google, did a search for limo service in Atlanta. This is page one right here. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm looking for you, and you are over here. There you are, reliable limo. And you are kind of near the bottom of page two. Again, so I wanted to just cover two factors today. These are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They always see consider more than two, but again, we're going to keep this thing short and just look at these two factors. And what I want to do is compare you with somebody on this page using those factors. I want to see if there's any differences and if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about those differences to help you out and move you up in search results. So I'm going to use Hennessy Transportation for comparison. So let's go look about the first factor. First factor I'm going to discuss today is called citations. A citation is a listing for your site on a directory, listing for your business on a directory site, I should say. <laughs> it's a name, address, phone number listing. Okay? And I'm going to give you an example. This is a site here that actually can go out and find directory sites and also do citation counts. So here's a directory site called Local Dispatch. So if Reliable Limousine had a listing on Local Dispatch, a name, address, phone number listing, that's considered one citation, okay? Now search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more um, legitimate as a business. And therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you, all right? So at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count. And I put you in here, and it's telling me you have 82 citations. That's pretty good. Hennessy, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 126. Okay, so there's a bit of a difference there, but the good news is you can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. So this 82, we can bump that well over 100 in short order. And when we do that, it's going to give you a nice little boost in search rankings. You're definitely going to move up, okay? So that's citations. Let's go talk about my second and last factor I want to review with you today. And this one's called backlinks. Now backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called AtlantaLimoSupplies.com and on their website they had a link to ReliableLimo.net, that's considered one backlink. Now search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you. Now this website actually does a backlink count. And the number we want to look at is Unique Active. So it's telling me that you have 23 unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Hennessy. Okay, so Hennessy has 23 unique active backlinks. Now that's a little bit more than you. But also, this score is a lot higher than you. That's 30%, which is what it should be. Yours is 2%. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. It's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The stronger and better the website, the higher that score is going to be. Okay, so what does that mean to you? Well, we can add backlinks to your site. We probably only need to add 10 good quality backlinks. What we want to do is get this score up close to 30% or a little bit over 30%. If we do that, just by adding 10 good quality backlinks, you are really going to move up in search results. You're definitely going to boost up. More people will find you. More people should be calling you. Okay? So, that's just citations and backlinks for today. But you found out that, yeah, there are differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. You also are finding out that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, give you a very nice boost in search rankings. Okay? 
So I hope you found this was helpful. Uh, this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to discuss other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There is no cost. There's no obligation. So anyway, um, if you'd like to chat, go ahead and give me a call. Shoot me an email, and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.